The audience is welcome to our Gerard Richard House Real Life Stories Radio. We are honored to give you our sincere greetings in the love of Jesus Christ, as well as mothers of perpetual help. May the love and peace of the Holy Trinity be with you and with your family. This program will be guided by Father John Quinn Lo Ngoc, a Redemptorist in Hanoi and the members of Gerard Retreat House. This video is broadcasted with the purpose of sharing our experiences, discoveries, information about problems relating to mental and spiritual illness, vocational discernment, religious and marital life, and the ways that God has been leading us. This could be continuously broadcasted on fan page and YouTube's channel with the name GRH Real Life Stories. New stories will be updated continuously on radio and website svcongiao.net at 9 p.m. on Sundays. We hope that it can bring you into new perspective, new hope, new directions, and new saving roads about human mysteries, illness, sorrows, and healings. Highlighting that these stories can be useful for those people who are suffering from similar problems as per other people have been already experienced and been healed. Dear audience, Hallowed maternal love is always an endless source of inspiration for many writers and poets. The mother is an embedded image in our minds, which describe both symbol, heartfelt, profound and symbolic by the poets. The mother is a gentle stream, a fairy song and the capital of love in life, especially to the Catholic. There is another hallowed mother, surpassing all the mothers in the earth. She is the Virgin Mary, mother of perpetual help, who is more benevolent than all the women in the earth. It's hard to describe profoundly the enormous love Mother Mary gives to humans, but only people who once experienced, especially in the most difficult moments in life, can understand it thoroughly. The following confidence of Minghang, a girl from Futok province, are the more associate, helping us discover again the boundless heart of Mother Mary, Mother of God, Mother of each of us. The story with the name Mother Mary Served Me that is read by Duyên Nguyễn. On living things were Sunday die, most people pass away after being touched by death for one. However, some people have many near-death experiences, which I would like to address to you through this story. I've never forgotten the frightening moment that happened exactly 19 years ago when I went beyond the fragile boundary between life and death. I remember I was only an almost 4-year-old little girl then. When playing together with the neighbor children, I went along the edge of the pond to gather a duckweed flower. It was as beautiful as a peacock with a mixture of different colors including white, light violet, and blue, which made me unresisted. I didn't know that the devil was ensnaring me to deprive my life. I tried to extend my hand in vain because whenever I almost touched the flower, it drifted a little farther. When I was stretching my body as much as possible to reach it, someone behind suddenly pushed me into the pond. In that moment between life and death, I looked back in time to figure out what was happening to me and who was the culprit. Oh my goodness, what a horror image that I would never forget. It was like a big orang about 2 meters tall with a hairy cold black body. I couldn't see its face clearly. It stood right behind me when I stretched my body to gather the flower. I was too scared and panicked. It was the culprit who pushed me into the pond. After that, I was aware of the fact that there had been many people drowned here. Unfortunately, 
I was the victim on that day. I kept wondering why I didn't sink deep at the bottom of the pond, but could seize the fragile pole used to hold back dark weight 10 meters from where I fell down. Do you know that I've never learned how to swim? It means I couldn't swim at that time. I couldn't keep myself floating on water too long to cling to the pole. I still remember once I drank so much water in the pond that I felt stiff and dizzy like being drunken. In that hanging by a thread moment, I was helped by the neighbor woman. Until now, whenever recalling that experience, she still remembers exactly what happened. At that time, she was in her house when she suddenly wanted to go to the toilet. However, she didn't use the indoor toilet but went outside to the pond. She had a feeling of being told to go there. She asserted clearly the person telling her was nobody but Mother Mary. She explained more in the middle compartment in her house, from where people could look straight to the place where it fell down. There was a statue of Mother prepared to help, who often did miracles. It was not a coincidence, but Mother Mary saved me. Truly, if the neighbor woman had used the indoor toilet, she couldn't have seen me to save me. There was so much dark weed covering the whole surface of the pond. I escaped from death in an instant. I agreed with the woman and asserted that it was mother or prepared to help who told her to save me. Until now, whenever I come back home, she always reminds me of showing my gratitude towards Mother Mary for saving me from death. I always bear in mind that experience when I received help and love from Mother Mary. Through that experience, recalling the memory, I'm aware that Mother Mary saved me from death not only once, but twice. I was not as lucky as many people when I was just a drop of blood forming in my mother's womb, my life was in danger. My appearance wasn't welcomed by my parents because my family was poor with many children. My mother had silently aborted one before me and one after me. I should have been aborted, but strangely, when deciding to abort me, my mother started to be conscience-stricken, then couldn't do it. Who stirred the maternal love inside my mother? Who made her troubled when she had an intention of aborting me? I believe definitely it was Mother Mary, mother or prepared to help, who made my mother change. Therefore, my life was retained and I've been growing up to now. Although it piled up on my parents' shoulders the burden of bread and butter every day, God didn't want me to be dead, so that His love and grace were expressed through what Mother prepared to help did in my life. So far, I remember a special grace Mother Mary granted to me. In the line of this feeling, I will continue my story. It was a stage full of tears. When I was a little girl with many beautiful dreams, I was sexually abused. The result was that I was always curious about sex, even desired it. Especially when I grew up, I stayed far from home to go to university. I couldn't escape from temptations, then continued to sin. I lost trust in God sometimes. I complained at God and Mother Mary. I got stuck and lost direction in life completely. It was a dark period of time for a student like me, but thanks to the rosary and my parents' prayers, Mother Mary saved me one more time. It was when Mother Mary took me to Zorado Retreat House where I was rescued from sexual desire through many hours of writing confessions and through the direction from Father John. In this journey, I was also given a chance to look back at two miracles Mother Mary did that I've told you. Mother Mary saved both my body and my soul. If it hadn't been for the help from Mother Mary, how would I be now? 
I have no idea. I was granted many graces by Mother Mary. How have I to requite Mother Mary worthily? All I've got is my simple and sincere heart, along with the rosary, offering Mother Mary as a little present to thank her for all the good graces she granted to me and my family. Make the whole world know Mother Mary. I will try to do all the things I can do to carry out that mandate. I wish more and more people would know Mother Mary to come and rely on her, so that they also can receive good graces like me. Dear audience, in the moment between life and death. When being an embryo or a little child falling into the pond, Minyang was incredibly saved by Mother Mary, not only in terms of human's body but also human soul, through the simple rosary that she offered to Mother Mary as well. This story shows us the love of Mother Mary, Mother of Perpetual Hope, Mother of each of us. Wishing everyone a chance of tasting the gentle love from Mother Mary. Especially in difficult times, let's run to Mother Mary with the heart of a new tears child. Thank you for listening to the Radio Gerard Retreat House Real Life Stories. We wish this hearty sharing will be useful for you. And it is possible that someone in the same situation will also have a chance for being healed. Dear friends, if you feel this story gives you something interesting or useful, please click the register button to update the next broadcast. If there is any suggestion or comment for our program, please send us via email, n h a t i n h t a m g i e r a d o at gmail.com. Wish you all a new week full of joy and peace of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, and see you again on the next program.